In today's video, I'll talk about the rather isolated scenario where Amazon would bar you from reapplying for one year. And if you want the short version of the video, it's because of culture fit. Now, um, there's a uh, a couple of other scenarios that I'd like to demystify at first and um, probably the, the most common of them is that when, when you're a candidate and you ask for, uh, for a rejection reason or rejection feedback after the interview and uh, by the way that's a terrible idea in my opinion and I also linked another video in, to explain myself in the video description but uh, when you ask them for this rejection feedback they might also uh, answer you that okay but we also recommend you not to reapply for one year well, that's a recommendation, not a ban. So th there's a big difference between uh, a ban and a recommendation. Um, even if in that, even uh, in that scenario, I believe you know th there is a cultural mismatch. In uh, in my opinion, uh, also it's uh, in my experience, it's very uncommon for a company such as Amazon to bu to bar you from reapplying if they uh, see you as you are not uh, good enough, technically speaking. Uh, why it's very uncommon? Uh, well, my experience again is that if you are not as good, as strong technically as uh, they thought you would be, but you're great behaviorally, they will offer you a, uh, a an offer for a more junior role, and this happens all the time. Or another explanation would be that a company such as Amazon would always hire for culture fit instead of uh, technical fit simply because they know that skill that you know that the technical uh, part is something that you can learn quite quickly whereas on the um, cultural side the behavioral side that's something very very complicated and very tricky to change uh, and this is basically the main reason why the ban is for one year on cultural fit now uh, in my experience also this ban only happens for rather senior roles uh, where Amazon themselves invested their uh, senior management uh, time into the uh, into these these uh, on-site interviews. So um, at least in my experience, that's the only cases I know where they literally imposed the ban of one year on on those candidates where the job was pretty senior. And to give a couple of examples of uh, cultural misfits into amazon um it's usually you know around the, the the customer obsession and about how you go about uh, getting things done for example i i once had a candidate candidate um, with a banking uh, background in the middle east applying for a senior finance uh, role in europe and their example of customer obsession a time when he had a difficult customer was um, a time when they had to provide a loan to a customer and uh, basically he did uh, whatever he could he uh, talked with his friends at uh, all the other banks in that uh, in that country to ensure that they couldn't uh, get a better deal than the one that they proposed him and also he had some friends somewhere else and uh, using all these uh, connections and his knowledge of of the business he basically forced the customer to take on the the offer that uh, he was proposing um, now, so th that's why you know. In at least that's what I what I figured out from from the conversation with uh, with them after the interview. That's one of the main reasons why he wasn't ac accepted with a job offer and further furthermore barred from reapplying for one year. That was a behavior that uh, will not fly with companies such as Amazon. Uh, now, to be clear here, that candidate was truly exceptional very smart in that sense so i'm sure he was uh, more than capable to get his job done um, he was a very competent person but because you know the he was used with these behaviors that probably you know in the middle east are common behaviors or something you know expected <laughs> are a matter of uh, you know it's, it's something as, as business as usual um, this is something amazon did not like now another example uh, and of course you know during the interview the interviewer will make you feel like yes of course it's a great example let's move on with the follow-up questions and they will even um, uh, they will even ask you follow-up questions and you know bring you down that rabbit hole to answer that yes of course th this guy does things like this and we don't do things like this until they confirm and once they do so then they know yes this is not for us right or another example i remember it was in the states 
uh, with the media marketing manager. Yeah, I think it was, yeah. And uh, he came from a major um, broadcast provider in the US where he also ran the ads business there. And one of his examples of uh, dealing with, uh, again, with customers was where they, they provided some service to like a couple of hundred thousand customers and uh, because the ser because uh, many of those customers were unhappy with the quality of the service and they wanted to avoid the lawsuit uh, they simply sold the business and uh, got away of uh, got away from from that uh, from that business entirely so uh, this is also an, another type of example where it does not show the customer obsession. So again, the question that he was getting asked was about customer obsession. So if you say that uh, in order to avoid the lawsuit, we sold the business entirely, that's not necessarily the best way to go about customer obsession about this leadership principle. So you must also understand the interviewer's perspective, even if that made b perfect business sense and it was actually a very profitable decision for them. But the behavior that they exhibited was not in line with the type of culture that uh, that Amazon promotes. So uh, um, these were two examples of uh, of the behaviors that uh, got people disqualified from these interviews and also barred from reapplying for uh, for one year. Now there's another side to this story. Um, how likely are you to get a job if you get barred for one year? I think you are very likely to get a job if you get barred from one year, but I think you're a lot less likely to get a job if you get bar if you get barred if you uh, fail two times in this context. So I believe the first time you get barred, that, that's something perfectly normal. But the second time, so if you reapply the third time, I believe that's when your ch chances significantly decrease. Um, also, um, as a closing note here. What I would recommend you to do if you go through such an intense interview and if you know yourself that you cannot really remember how it went or what examples you used, I would always recommend to take notes during that interview and to simply, um, or not even notes, but to keep a cheat sheet somewhere near, nearby with the stories that you have and the stories that you use throughout the interview. So that after the interview, you can debrief and you can brainstorm of what went well, what, what did not uh, go as, as well as you thought it, it went. Because what happens is that during a, a behavioral interview, they make you feel either comfortable or they make you uh, feel not comfortable to get you out of your comfort zone to screen you better. So during the, the actual interview, it might be counterintuitive for you to know exactly how it went. But after the interview, if you go again through, the, through your interview experience, you will realize if, uh, if you've done a, a, some mistakes, some cultural problem uh, in, in the interview itself, or if it went well, or what you wish it went uh, better, you could also use this feedback, you know, to further improve yourself. But I found that the, the candidates that uh, took notes and they remember well what happened during the actual interview were also the ones that, you know, they were very successful in understanding as to why the, that specific outcome for, for the given interview. Because if uh, your interview went perfectly on the cultural side, um, they will ask you for an interview, for another interview quite quickly. But uh, these would be, you know, the main things that I wanted to, to touch upon um, w with respect to this uh, one-year ban from uh, from Amazon interviews, which I believe is, they are pretty isolated, again, for rather senior roles. And in my opinion, again, you should not ask for rejection feedback, which is another common scenario where they recommend you not to reapply for one year. So hopefully this, uh, this uh, information was uh, useful and thank you very much for watching.